welcome to Community Cooking. I'm your host, Kirk Lyons. And in our kitchen today is someone who's a bit of a fixture in the community cooking kitchen. With me is Cheryl Dent. Hi, Hi Cheryl. I love being a fixture. What would I be, like a chandelier? Well, you're here like, like four times a season, <laughs> I think. And this time you've brought 8,000 ingredients. I know, I know. It, it, it looks like a lot, but it's actually really easy. Well, you know, I used to live in Thailand. Okay. And I absolutely love the flavors and all the fresh herbs and all the great ingredients. You brought every cuisine. one of them with you back from Thailand. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? Why not bring a little bit bring of Thailand okay. here? So we'll start that off. So this is really a traditional way of, of grinding things in mortar and pestle. Well, what are we making? What's okay, our dish? So, <laughs> right. I'm already getting confused. excited to make it. I'm like jumping at the bit. So we're making a variation of lap mung, which is a, a minced pork dish. But we're kind of changing it up a little bit. Because traditionally when you make it, you actually take uh, like a pork shoulder and you chop for days. We're doing okay. ground meat. It's ground a half hour show. So the <laughs> chop for days part. So we're doing the American version here. We're going to do ground beef and ground pork. Okay. Bork, half and half, about a pound. Bork. Bork. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to turn it into these beautiful lettuce cups. So we're going to make this meat mixture, and then we'll get to fill it up with all these great condiments, very much like they do in Thailand, where they really use a lot of foraged herbs and spices to create the dish. So this is something you find like in the north of Thailand. Okay. So we're going to start with the mortar and pestle and make a wet rub, which is going to go into our meat. And then I'm going to do a dry rub. And being the, that this is in front of me, I, 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 I <laughs> see that a, I'm going to be doing the mortar and pestle. It's kind of a manly job. So okay, so, and that's all these ingredients yeah. here, correct? Okay. That's it. So we've got garlic. I think I got this, okay. yeah. We've got garlic cloves. Yep, okay. and I cut them in half. You don't have to. You can use whole garlic. And, and you could be, obviously use garlic from the farmer's market. We're going to turn this on. So I, I think you could pretty much raid the farmer's market on this dish right Yeah, here, yeah. Right? And the thing is, don't be daunted oh, by this. You can see. really have fun with this. Do like, you need this on? Yeah, just okay. very low. If you like things really spicy, um, we're going to be using these wonderful Thai chilies. These are really, really super hot. Um, so you can definitely back off on it. But I know you like a little spice, so yeah. we're, we're going to go a little crazy. Okay, so we got some ginger here. Yep. All right. Fresh ginger. And then I've got some lemongrass. Yep. And the key with the lemongrass is, and I have some stalks over here, you want to really use the kind of the whiter pieces. The inner pieces. Yeah. Right. The other stuff's really woody. It's woody, and it's hard to break down. Shallot? Shallot? Shall I, shall I put in shallot. the shallot? Yes. All right. And then we've got, looks like some Thai chilies here. Thai chilies. I put it kind of a lot because I like things pretty spicy, but again, you can really have fun with the flavors and mix and match. It's shrimp and paste? Shrimp paste. Just a teeny bit. And this is going to give the dish that really authentic Thai flavor. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. So okay. I'm going to let... And then just get pestling away, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I did leave a few seeds in just because I'm crazy. All so right. then we're going to make our own, like a, almost like a Thai curry, like a dry rub. Okay. So into my skillet, and it's, it's going to get just warmed up for a moment. I've got some star anise, cardamom pod whole. I'm just going to throw that all in there. I've got some nutmeg. Mm, smells and amazing. then What's fennel coming? seeds, whole fennel seeds, and I've got this pepper, and I, I like using like a, a mix of colors. You know, you've got the red, the right. red, the black, the green, so have fun with pink, that. Pink, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, we've got some cumin, and I've got cardamom, and one of my favorites, turmeric. Wow, look at you. Yeah, so we just want to, what we want to do. deep into that spice cabinet <laughs> this time, didn't you? I know. And you could add other things too. You could do there's a traditional Thai spice called galangal if you can galangal, find that. Galangal, I love it. Which yeah. is basically like a like a young ginger. It's young. Beautiful. Young ginger. Right. Yeah, we could get in trouble with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very young ginger. Okay, then let's see. Am I off? Yeah. So you just want to warm it up a little bit just to let the oils of the the seeds and the spices sort of come out. Okay. And you can really smell how aromatic that is. Yeah, very much so. We yeah. get it from right here. And that's on top of what I've got going here, which is <laughs> highly aromatic. Oh, how you doing on that? Uh, really good. Now, I mean, one thing that we should say is that this process here in the mortar and pestle does take a little... It does. So we're not going to see this through to no. the very end, but we're giving people an idea yeah. of, you know, what and you got to do. Is, the thing is, think about doing this on your day when you're not doing your upper body workout. You know, right? it's, it's a really, it's a good workout. Now, I got to say, in Thailand, they do that on the floor, you know, right. on the ground. And it actually, it, believe it or not, it's a little easier. So I was 
in my apartment on the floor. Sort of the, the leverage behind it, probably. <laughs> and they, in Thailand, they say it makes the sound pock pock. So I was really like going in. Do you hear the pock 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 pock? But right. I was going for it. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, being the fact that we are doing a TV show yeah. here, that would maybe <laughs> get on everybody's nerves after yeah. a while. So I'm going to just spare them and spare just Spare them, but you can really go in there and just, right. just give it to yeah. them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's Take really, it. you really want to pulverize. I mean, because this is really all kind of fibrous stuff. Yeah. And yeah. you're breaking it down. And I mean, after like, how long do you think? Like, I don't know, 15, 20 15 minutes? 15 minutes, yeah, yeah. You, you really get in there and you really. You come up with something that looks like look at that. that. That's magic. So that's literally evolved from this here after about 15, yeah. 15 20 minutes of vigorous. Of, a vigorous mortar and pestle. Yeah. That's even a term. <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. cool. So and let's say we did that. Okay, we did that, and we've got one here that we did. How right. great are we? We're so right. fast. Right, I'm going to move this over to the side. So from the pan, I just moved that aside. I have my beautiful ingredients that have just been warmed up. You don't want to do it too long. Just like 20, 30 seconds is all you really need. Right. And okay. then put it in, and I have a designated spice mill. Yeah. You don't want to use your coffee grinder yeah. for that. We've all done that. Yeah, and then your coffee tastes like uh, turmeric the next time. Yeah. yeah, not so good. Thai coffee. Not to be confused. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then, you know, you just want to check it and just see how. And that looks that looks pretty amazing. Beautiful, yeah. Look at that. So this is really, I mean, if you smell this, this is really what, you know, if you buy those Thai, you know, different curry powders, this oh, is yeah. really what it is. And it's like, yeah, that this is so really fresh. Good. Now with the quantities, I made more because you can keep this and use this for whatever you want. You know, you can use it. Right. I mean, that could yeah. be a seasoning for anything that you stuck on the grill. Yeah, or, chicken. Right. And as today, Bork. Bork. <laughs> right. Wasn't he like the Surgeon General at one point or something like that? Coop. Co Robert Bork. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> That's what I keep hearing every time yeah. you use that term. Right. Okay, and then the, I'm just going to plug that in. Our dry rub and our wet rub is going to make a couple of appearances. So I know it seems like there's a lot of different things we're doing, but it's actually going to be used for a couple different things. Okay. So now we're going to make our wonderful, this is our sauce that's going to go on top of our lettuce cups. It's a coconut cashew sauce. So I've got whole coconut milk. I'm going to pour that into my and blender. And very important that we, we, we do, and this is unsweetened, I would imagine? Yeah, just regular, you know, actually I got this from the Thai market. It's just the canned whole, you know, coconut okay, milk. Coconut milk, not coconut cream, not coconut it water, water. <laughs> not co right, and it's unsweetened. Right, right. All really, really important because there's a ton of products on the market that all have coconut in it. Yeah. And but, it might look like this, but are, you know. But you know what, different. if you got the sweetened one, because traditionally a lot of the sauces and condiments in Thailand tend to be a little bit sweet because of the, you know, lime juice. So, you know, if you have sweetened, use right. it. It's no okay. big deal. And then this is fun. I These are cashews, and what I did is I soaked them overnight, so they're almost, they're really, really soft. So it's going to puree it beautifully. Yeah, really soft. So you soak just, them in what, water? Yeah, soak them in okay. water, and then before, you know, drain them out pretty well. You know, rinse the water from, that had been in the cashews. Okay. Okay. So I've got that, and then... I told it was gonna make an appearance. I've got our beautiful wet rub, a little bit of that, just a just teeny, a touch, huh? just a touch. Okay, and then I've got um, these are coconut aminos, which are really a great way to impart a lot of flavor. Whoops, I'm so spilling. So now would that would that <laughs> taste like the the regular liquid aminos? That's almost like soy sauce. Yeah, but what's great is it adds. These are made from coconut, so it gives you again sort of that coconut kind of building on those flavor profiles. Where would you get that? Like health food stores? Yeah, or health Asian food market? stores have it. Asian markets okay. have it. And if you couldn't find it, you can also get just the regular aminos. Aminos, which yeah. like now you can almost even find in this regular supermarket. Absolutely. In a lot of them. And you know what? what? If you can't find it, use soy sauce. Sure. I'm all about substitutions. Fresh ginger. Or tamari. Tamari, tamari would, would be great well. too. And then this is our beautiful spice rub that there's a, there's a we just made. Our dry rub. Add a little of that in. And I'm just going to go a little bit light and we're going to test it and see how it is. Okay. And then I've got a little bit of, um, this is a sweet chili sauce. Your, your typical sweet Thai chili sauce yeah. that you can find at almost any market. Any market. Okay, right. then I'm going to have you grab me some mint. Okay. And some how basil. Much would you like? Just do like. Yeah, that's good. Something like this and just... Yeah. Boom. boom Yeah, boom that in. Okay. <laughs> boom it in. Ba boom boom let's just not go to win. And I actually have over here, I've got a little bit of Thai basil, so maybe we'll just mix and ah, match. okay. Which is kind of cool. Right, Thai basil, just for those unfamiliar, you're talking like this is our domestic basil. These yeah, are big, big boys. These are sort of smaller and purpley or yeah. and uh, a little bit of a different consistency. I think to it's like a well. little bit, a little bit peppery. Just a slight pepper, okay, yeah. pepper note. But again, you can if you don't have it, 
no worries. You can kind of use what you want. And you could always add other herbs to this, too. I mean, cilantro would be great in there, cilantro too. Cilantro would be fantastic. You know what? I'm just going to add a teen bit of cilantro since we're, we're talking since about we're talking cilantro. About it, right. <laughs> and it's here. Yes. Along with okay. every other herb from the garden. Yes. And then um, I'm going to add just a splash. What I did, these are key limes, beautiful little key limes. I juiced a bunch, and then I added just a splash of the Meyer lemon, which is over there. Yummy. So now, Yeah, now we can talk about that a little, too. I mean, all this stuff, once again, is, you know, at your farmer's market. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And this is a great <clears throat> job for the kids to do with one of those little hand crank that's juicers. That's great. Because you, you actually have to juice quite a bit of these to yield any juice. Meyer lemon um, is, it, first off, it, you'll notice the skin is not nearly as pitted. It's very yeah, smooth. it's very silky. Uh, yeah, and, and not a great lemon for zesting. You're right, because it's, it's, it's so oily. It's, yeah, yeah, not a great lemon for zesting. However, the juice from it is seriously delicious. Oh, it's great. And kind of a combination of everything citrus that you know. Yeah, you know, you're right. It's a little bit of lemon. It's a little bit of lime. It's a little mm -hmm. bit of orange. You kind of taste everything. Yeah. You know, so really, really delicious. So when you hear Meyer lemon, that's what that's all and about. And also it's great for baking. So I think that kind Fantastic. of sweetens up your key lime because key lime is so, so, so tart. Right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Let's okay. see if we're on. Oh, look at that. And the great thing about soaking those cashews is how easy that, look at how great that purees up. Yeah, pretty easily. Yeah. Okay. And then I always like to just test it just to see where we're at. Because, you know, every day sure. things are a little bit different. You may want it a little bit. Especially with chilies. I know. You know? Yeah, so we can kind of taste. Oh, wow, that's really good. Chilies, chilies are. Want to taste that? Yeah. I think I it could use just a touch of a little bit of sweetener. Let's see here. But I love the complexity. Mmm. Touch of sweet, touch of salt. Too. Touch of salt. I, I would hit it with some salt. Yeah, so we're going to add sure. now. I'm just going to add in a little bit. This is touch coconut. Yeah, just yeah. a touch. Coconut simple syrup, which I made, which is equal parts this, um, the coconut sugar. A little bit more yeah. Here. I think it needs a little more mint. Just a okay. little bit more. Uh, just, you know what? You're not, not going to overdo it on that yeah. one. I mean, okay. I'm tasting all the herbs. Definitely getting the nuts. Yep. Really good. And the thing is, this is actually great to make the day before because it really thickens up in the fridge with that coconut milk. And those flavors are just going to yeah. get better. Nothing's going to go weird color on you yeah. or anything. So I definitely make this like the day before, okay. two days before. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah. I have a feeling that's going to be right there. And I also like, for, for what we're making, having kind of a creamy sauce to go with, because I'm all about textures like the lettuce cup with the meat. Right. And then all the crunchy elements. Well, How something that's... This wouldn't be unlike something that you would find like at a Mexican taco. I mean, you know. Oh, yeah. Like a fish taco. You have always have that little creme on top with that's, the salsa. That's kind of, yeah. You know. Let's see. Mmm. Wow. That's perfect. Just that little bit of salt. And again, this is really versatile. There we go. Isn't that great? There we go. Yeah, that's really nice. Love that. Really nice. Yeah. Very All right, fresh. so I think we're ready to, we got our sauce done. I think we're ready to start on our meat. Cooking that bork. <laughs> it's fun to say it, right, Kirk? Yeah, yeah. Well, when yeah. you first said it, I thought, I thought you misspoke. You did? Like, yeah, you said bork, and I was like, you've been drinking before the show? I know. Bork. Well, should I start on the cocktail, even though it doesn't have any alcohol <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right, so we've got our bork. Yep. And that looks like a, a thicker grind. Yes, I got this from a, a local butcher. This is pasture raised. Both the beef and the pork come from sustain a sustainable farm. Sustainable farm. This is something that I would sort of refer to as a chili grind. Yeah, like so a chili. So it's not grind. a double yeah. grind. It's very. It's like a, a, a very large die and yeah. just ground once. Yeah, exactly. And you can again, you can get whatever's available at your grocery store. So we're going to turn our wok on. Okay. Let me get that nice and hot. Yep. And then what I did for the oil, we're going to use peanut oil with a little bit of sesame oil splashed in, like just this? a touch. That's what that is. I've already mixed it up. I think that gives a nice flavor. Okay, yeah. Just, just a touch. Just and a touch. That, that, that peanut oil is going to fortify it so it doesn't burn. Yeah. It, it, it's great at a high temperature. You would never want to use just sesame oil in an <laughs> application like this. It would be so bitter and burnt. By yeah, the time. and also the flavor. A little bit of sesame oil, it's, it's sort of like um, certain herbs and spices. Right. Certain ones, a little goes a long way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. That's probably enough, right? Yeah, that looks great. Good fat content here. Yeah. All right, should we get that in? So we're going to put our meat in. All right. Let's make sure we just have plenty of heat there. Yeah. All right. And this actually cooks really fast. And traditionally in Thailand, because when they make this, they're 
they're pounding it down. I really like to break it up. Right. You know, I'm almost smashing it. Right, there's very it's, much an aggressive sort yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, I'm just turning, getting that. And then we're going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of our wet rub. Just about, once we start seeing some browning going on. Okay. A little of our wet. I'll wait for that browning. I mean, yeah, a little more, just a okay. touch more. You can see where we're at. Right, otherwise it's going to be harder to get browned. So yeah, I look see, at that. So that. Just kind of smashing that and really breaking that up into small yeah. pieces. Yeah, so this sort of mimics what, the way they make it in Thailand where they're actually using a big old meat cleaver and just right. pounding. <laughs> right. Yeah. But this is a now, good kind of a Are they doing it on a wok or are they doing it like on a grill? Like a, They'll do a wok over, over charcoal. Oh, okay. But I thought bringing in a charcoal grill inside might be a little too... I already and had against enough fire stuff. code. Yeah, yeah that uh, too. Need I remind you? Okay. <laughs> I, trust me, I thought about it. I bet you did. I did. I was like, should I bring I the charcoal? I you thought about everything when you put this together. <laughs> I know. I know. But you know what? I've made this with ground turkey. Delicious. Ground sure. chicken is great. I'll do, I'll, when I, I usually do Thai lettuce wraps and not quite as intricate as this. Yeah. And I usually use ground chicken. Delicious. And, and you know, the thing with the, the lettuce wraps, it really works well because you kind of want something with less of a fat content. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it really works well. A little fish sauce, a little lime juice, some yeah. fresh red pepper, some shallot, green onion, cilantro, mint, you got it. So look at that. It's so, look how quick this is. Beautiful. Should I get some of this in yeah, there? Yeah, just now? a little bit. Okay, of about that. something like this. Perfect. All right. Add that in there. And see, this has got all our garlic, it's got our lemongrass, it's got that ginger. Okay. And you can really smell. From that shrimp paste, this is a really traditional smell. Oh I'm my gosh! Start clearing some room here oh, because you are I know great. you've got uh, you got a bunch of other ingredients yes. that are going in here. This is looking so good, guy. When I lived in Thailand, they had this weekend market. It's like two sizes the time the size of the Colosseum, and they sell everything. They have just mounds of shrimp paste and yeah. fish paste, and just the smells. Do we start? Do we yeah. start adding this? Yeah, let's, starting, let's right? do it. Okay, so what do we have? We've okay. got little, looks like lime juice. Let's add our lime juice. Okay, in goes the lime. In goes the lime. I've got a little fish sauce. Is that what this is? Mm -hmm. Just a touch of fish sauce. Yep. Because we already added that shrimp paste. Right, what do we have here? That's a coconut aminos. A coconut aminos. They're amino. making another appearance. Right. Again, you could substitute soy sauce for that or tamari. And what do we have here? That is our simple syrup, coconut simple syrup. Okay. And I'm going to bring the heat down just a little bit. A little bit of sweetness. Yeah. And again, depending on how sweet you want it, you can really mix and match. And that's some hoisin just to kind of thicken it up. You want all this hoisin? Yep. Okay. Throw it all in there. Great. Okay. And you could substitute. You could always use like an oyster sauce would be great in here. Sure. Hoisin's not always for everybody. Yeah, that's true. It smells great. And then we're going to add our coconut milk. Oh, right. More liquid. Yeah, a more, little more liquid. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful. Especially if you're making these the day before, the meat, you want it to be a little on the wetter side. Okay. So that it kind of absorbs back in. It just, it looks so hearty. Yeah, so hearty. Okay, really we're done nice. with the heat. We'll kill the heat on that. Okay. And then we're going to add in, we've got our mint. Mint and basil? Uh, ba mint and basil. Okay, so all that can go all in? All that can go in. Man, look at that. That's yeah. going to be a flavor bomb right yeah, there. Yeah, look at that. All that beautiful green. And then I like to top it with some, some sesame seeds. Lovely. Now, this is super, super hot. Usually what you'd want to do is leave it in the wok just like this and then let it cool down. And what's going to happen is when it cools down, that coconut milk is going to kind of thicken it up it as well. It a little bit on so it. So it looks Did a little wet. Sesame yeah, seeds throw those there? in. All right. And just make sure, to, do we get everything on, on our list? I think so. We almost so. need to double check. I've got, some, I've got some coconut sugar here. Did I need that? We did, did we put the coconut sugar in? I can't remember. No, uh, we did not put, I don't think we, put, we did do not we do put the, any coconut, coconut sugar oh, in. Oh, yeah, let's, add, let's sweeten it up. Okay, let's add a so little bit of that. We, did, we use coconut simple syrup. Oh, then we don't need it. Okay, all right. So but we can taste it and see if we want it, if we want it a little okay. bit sweeter. All righty. But look how beautiful that looks. Yeah, may I give that a taste? Yeah. That let's, looks really good. Isn't that great? What do you think? Sweet enough for me. Is it sweet enough for mm -hmm. you? How's the heat level? I could use a touch more heat and a touch more salt. Okay. Oh, that's good. It's good though. Flavor-wise, it's wow. right there. It needs a little bit more salt to bring it out. You know what I think would be good on this is a little sriracha. What do you think? Okay. Just a touch in there. Just, just, just a little bit. Yeah. With that, for that acid too. Yeah. I love. Isn't this great? It's excellent. 
It's very. Um, I could eat that over rice. Oh yeah, and that's traditionally the way they do it. Is oh okay. They have it with sticky rice, but I thought oh, today. Oh, they pick it up with the rice. Yeah, pick it okay. up, and then right. and then they grab it with all the fresh herbs. But right. it, to me, this is really very. It has a lot of really traditional elements. It's really good, really hearty eating mm -hmm. too. Yeah, but you're right. Over sticky rice, this is great. All right, let's see how that did. Mm. I know we just want to eat from the eat from the wok. Let's see. There we go. And this is the kind of thing again. Feel free, you taste it. There we go. There we go. Mmm. Yep. Wow, that's a that's little bit of acid, a mm -hmm. little bit of salt, a little bit of heat. That did the trick. Wow. All right. So I guess we get to make a cocktail now. Oh right? yeah, yeah. And well, we let this eat. cool down. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, that's really good. Uh huh. And again, if you know that you love a lot of chili, you could definitely add, you know, add more if you want. But For I sure. think it's, I think it's perfect. I think it's excellent. I think that little bit of sriracha and that mm -hmm. salt just brought it all together. Yeah, you could also add a little crushed red at the end too, probably oh, if you yeah. wanted to bring up the heat level. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Good stuff. Yum. Style. Yeah. That's great. All right, cocktail. Now, what do we got? Now, okay. it's only a cocktail, right? It's just a, it's a beverage. I guess it's a mocktail. Okay, but so, we could turn this into a cocktail. Oh, easily, Very easily. Easy. Actually, I was when I when I came here today, I was thinking, oh, I should have brought some vodka because this is like the perfect drink for vodka. Mm. But okay. we're doing it. We're doing it um, the non non alcoholic version. So in Thailand, they do a drink called Namanao. Okay. And it's like a lime aid. So this is a version of lime aid that we're making today, and we're going to do it near a martini shaker. Okay. So I've got um, in my martini shaker, I've got some ice. And then, as everything I've been making today is making many appearances, this is my key lime juice with the Meyer lemon. So and we're going to add you that. You squeezed a lot of key limes <laughs> to get that <laughs> amount of juice, lady, let me tell you. Oh, gosh. It was like endless. <clears throat> but again, you, if can, you, you can find pretty decent, actually, key lime juice products, too. Absolutely. You can. You can. And you know what you can always do? You can always, I have to say, I, I, I kind of ran out of steam, so I used some rig. Substitute some. I substitute right. a little bit. So we got that in there. Now we're going to add all of our great herbs. We're going to add... And I like a lot of mints, so we're going to add in our mint. You want to really tear it up so you, you know, release all the oils of the mint. Okay. And then we're going to get that in there. And then some basil. I think we should throw a little of the Thai basil in, too. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a great idea. So the Come on, mint. it's a Thai drink, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And this coconut simple syrup is really great because it gives you a lot of flavor of the coconut, and it really works with this drink. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm going to add a little of that in there. Okay. And then I'm going to add, just for fun, just a touch of the dry rub, just all right, just to give it okay. another dimension. I, I'm okay with that. I mean, that's like doing that with. You can do that with chocolate. You know, you see people like add like curries and yeah, chilies it's so and big now. Right, and you know, what? yeah, I can see that working in this. And we're going to well. shake it really well now. I always like to cover my martini shaker with a, with a cloth because I recently made cocktails for a girlfriend and this part was broken so I'm shaking and, it. and it was like going everywhere so yeah. use a bar towel. Okay. You spent so much time juicing lemon, Meyer lemons and key limes that it's like I would hate to see that wind up on the floor. <laughs> Just saying. I know. Labor of love. Right. And then I like to do a little bartender trick just to taste, to see where we're at with um, the flavor, see if it's sweet enough, see if, and just use a straw and just go in there and mm -hmm. it's pretty tart. Okay, and add a little more, a little more of the simple syrup. Now you're also adding a little bit of, of lemon lime soda to it as well. At the right? end, absolutely. Okay, so if it's maybe still a little on the tart side, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. That lemon lime soda is going to add some sweetness. Yeah, as well. and it's one of those things. And you could also make the drink a little sweeter, and then just use club soda would be fun too. Yeah. Or if you have orange soda at home. Yeah, okay. but I mean that's I think the the lesson to be learned here. Like I mean just you know a little bit of fresh squeezed citrus yeah. juice, some nice fresh herbs. Yep. You know, shake it up, mm -hmm. sweeten it up. So I'm gonna do add a little bit of uh, add some bubbles, and you got it. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little quick garnish. Just gonna cut my lime up, and then give it a little spot for the edge of the glass. Okay. Is it gonna stay? We got these. Little, oh, that's okay. It can go in. That's got fine. these little mason jars. Aren't those cute? Kind of uh -huh. trendy now. And you're just cutting that out because there's little seeds there. Yeah, just cutting that out. A little in there. Okay. So then we'll. And I think I have some, oh, I, my ice is kind of melted, so we'll just do it this way. All right. Doesn't that look great? Yeah, it looks awesome. And you can really see the basil in there and the uh -huh. mint. It's like all muddled in there now. Yeah, so pretty. Okay. And you could definitely use alcohol. You could definitely make this with um, 
you know, a little vodka if you wanted. And then I'm just topping this off with a little, this is a lemon lime soda. Okay. Just to give a little bubble at the end. Just finish it off and sweeten it up a little bit more. Okay. Great. Well, All right. Cheers. I'm excited about this. I'm very thirsty. Me too. All cheers. Right, cheers. That is so refreshing oh. and good. Really, really good. Yeah, isn't that great? Yeah, mm. I could drink. I could drink <laughs> a whole pitcher of that. Yeah, they, that's what you do. You sit outside and you have these kind of lettuce cups in Thailand, and you drink this because it's so yeah, hot there. Yeah, this that is really delicious. Really refreshing. Really, mm. really delicious. Wow. Mm. Mm. And just a little bit of that that dry rub in there just gives it another little element. Yeah. Almost like you you really don't taste it, but it just gives a little just, just a, a little hit, little right? dimension. So we can start building our cups. I've got these cute. How cute are these? These. Beautiful. And then I got a napkin for you. Oh, well, thank you. In our color palette. <laughs> Great, I know, right? Yeah. Look at this. Okay, so uh, since we just made this, we might as well use that, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, well, we need some lettuce first. Yeah. So, right? so grab a lettuce, and this is iceberg. You can definitely use if you want. If you like a little more crunch, you can use the cabbage. And sometimes these are a little thin. You can kind of double up. Right. You know, okay. kind of double or if them they've up. got like. Yeah. Like holes in it. And that's or okay. That's and that's this season right okay. now. That's the way they are. We've got about a minute here. Okay. So we load this up with oh, this. Oh, look then, at that. And then we just top it with any of these toppings. Yeah, you just have fun. So I've got the okay. peanuts. Yeah, I've got some cashews. Carrot. What I've do we got have here? Papaya. Papaya. Green papaya. Yeah. That's for sure. I love the peanuts. Definitely some cucumber. Mm -hmm. Definitely a little scallion. Yep. And we'll yeah. yeah. And some peanut. Yeah, some peanut. And then we need our sauce. Yes, and we need our sauce. This is the sauce that we made. And then if you want to add, oh, I've got the drink. fresh herbs over there, but I'm just, since it's a little closer, I'm just going to add, just tear up a little mint on mine, because I love okay. mint. Just a little of that. Here's oh, some yeah, sauce. I need some sauce. Don't forget Look at that. that. Isn't that oh. beautiful? Mmm. All oh, right, there yeah. we go. All right, let's give this a taste. Yes. Look at that. It's like a little work of art, and this is so uh -huh. cute for a party. You know, serving it in these little boats. Mmm. 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 Still there? Oh my gosh. Mmm. That's awesome. That is awesome. What a beautiful meal. Mmm, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. You never fail oh, to impress. I gotta, I'll put it down and give you a little hug. Mm, thank got you. A little sauce. And thank you for watching oh, Community Cooking. Join so us great. here next time. If you would like a copy of the recipe seen on this show, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Office of Cable and Community Relations, 3350 Civic Center Drive, Suite 200. That's in Torrance, California, 90503. Be sure to note the show number and the date you saw the show. And don't forget, you can find all the fresh ingredients used on today's show at the Farmer's Market. Visit the one here in Torrance at Wilson Park. They're located at 2200 Crenshaw Boulevard. They're open every Tuesday and Saturday from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m., rain or shine. And if you'd like to be a guest on our show, give us a call at 310-618-5762 or email us at communitycooking at torrenceca.gov.